Hello guys and welcome back to a new video. Today I will show you how simple it is to connect your Android Auto to the new Skoda Multimedia system and I will do that in this video. So stay with me if you want to find out how easy it is to connect it. So let me start first time on the phone right here. You can go simply in my Skoda right here for example in the Bluetooth you can find it here. Press it one time. You have to wait a few seconds until it will try to connect. Then you will see on the screen, it will ask you if you want to connect it. Also, it will show you right here. You will go like, okay. Then you will go pair. And then right now you will have another question. For example, if you want to use Android Auto, use Android Auto. Allo, allo. Next. Okay, turn on the the location hello and then right now in this second it's connected just just so simple it's just like that and you can see on this 13 inch display it's almost use all the screen that's just incredible uh how big it is i mean you have such a good visibility and right now in this second you have all the information and you have the Google map right here on the screen right here on the display you have all that information uh, also you can see here how much battery you have my phone and how much uh, internet connectivity or uh, connection you have it on this part right here is the same as on the Hyundai Tucson uh, it's not all over the screen you're probably wondering why is this time here and date because the Android Auto doesn't use all the screen the part down here stay the same so you can control the climatic system uh, and also the, the function from the normal multimedia system. But on the uh, left part here, you will see the Android um, connectivity and the Android application only on this side. But to be honest, because this is a huge screen, 13 inch screen, it's more than perfect. I mean, uh, it's much bigger than other cars that use uh, all over the screen the Android Auto and uh, for example I know you ask me you will see the map when you choose a destination also on the cockpit probably not I will show you a little bit later but still it's just incredible how easy it is here is the main button get to home button you have the map you have to Spotify you have the, the music you have the telephone and all the information right here uh, from your Android uh, connectivity you have the charging map that you can use it because this is an electric car it's great to use this charging map with android auto and you can find the uh, all the charging station on the map so it's just it's just incredible how easy it is uh, i love that if you go back uh, you can see that you have also uh, the settings the postcast um, and then you have the spotify that many people love it and you have all the Spotify from your phone directly here. You can hear music inside your car uh, from your phone directly. It's super, super nice. Going back to home, the exit here, you can go out and you go back to the, to the menu of the car. You can play in the menu without any problem. If you want to go back to the Android Auto, you go here in the menu on the Android. It will get back to the Android. So yeah, this is it. Now, the great part is that you can use also the voice commands. If you press this voice right here for a few seconds, navigate to Paris. Navigating to Paris. And right now, the car will navigate to Paris or wherever you want. The and crosses a country border. Verify COVID-19 border restrictions before going. And in this second, I can answer your question. On the screen there, you cannot see the map, but you can see those um, directions right here so you will have directions directly there on the cockpit of course this ENIAC can come with a head-up display that it's amazing it looks gorgeous and then you will see the direction also on the head-up display but um, yeah pretty nice also you can use this voice command for other questions like how many degrees are outside today in Zuchwal today, expect a high of 18 and a low of 2. Great. So you can see, guys, you can use it also with the voice command, uh, the Android Auto. Pretty awesome. You have every single information right here and it's working quite fine. 
I mean, it's it's great. So that's it, how simple it is to connect your Android Auto also with iPhone, it works the same. Guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. Please don't forget to like, share, subscribe, and I guess I see you in the next one.